There is a fundamental concept in security called CIA triad. You'll often see this referred to as the AIC triad, which I put here. Well, the term has changed a bit through the years. In the United States, there's a federal part of our government called the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency. So I think there has been an effort internally within the security environment to call this the AIC triad. And that stands for Availability, Integrity, and confidentiality. And it's a triad. All three of these things work together. If any one of these things is not working properly, then the other two are not going to work well for us either. It is a very fundamental part of what we do in network security. Availability, like the name implies, means that our systems will always be up and running. That's a huge part of all of our systems. So almost everybody in our organization is involved in some aspect of availability. Integrity means that the information that we send back and forth between people, between systems, between computers are not things that can be modified without us knowing about it. So we want to be sure that all of this information goes back and forth and we can count on it when we receive it. And confidentiality means that this information that we have in our databases, on our systems, is confidential. That other people who do not have access to this information are not allowed to see it. That's an extremely important part of what we do. And you can see that all three of these working together become very, very important parts of what we're doing in network security. When we think about availability, it really involves a lot of different parts of the organization. There's an aspect of capacity and performance we have to keep in mind. So as we talk about recovery and single points of failure and redundancy and backing up our system, that's a huge part of availability. If we lose any data for some reason, someone deletes it accidentally, we want to be sure that we get that data back. That falls under the category of availability. But we also have availability we have to think about when we're dealing with these many different systems that we have and the software that's running on them. We need to make sure that we have redundancy there, that we have backup systems there, that our technicians, the people that use these systems are trained. If there's ever a problem, they're able to take care of that. We also have to think about the environment these might be in. If you're in a data center, it has to have the right type of humidity, the right temperature to be able to keep these systems up and running and available all the time. Integrity isn't quite as obvious as availability might be because with integrity, we need to make sure that the data we send back and forth between systems has not been modified in any way. So we may employ some methods like access control to the data. We may have this data hashed so that we can compare the hash when it gets to the other side and make sure that we have the systems in place to detect if an intrusion ever occurs. There may also be problems that happen with users, mistakes that occur. Somebody deletes a file. Maybe there is an input error associated with the data. And that's why we talk about having things like least privilege on our systems. We make sure that our users don't have more access than they should so that if they do happen to make a mistake, it will have a very, very narrow effect or only affect a small about amount of what we're doing. And this really comes into play when you're dealing with large systems. A good example of this is what happened in South Carolina. There was in their lottery office, the standard pick four drawing, the number was 7245. But unfortunately, the system that validates tickets started validating 1245 as a winning ticket. And they ended up paying out $100,000 more than they should. And you can almost tell what happened here. Somebody input a 1 instead of a 7, and now the entire system had a problem with the integrity of the data within it. There should have been checks and balances, and I will bet now in South Carolina there is a way to double check whenever somebody inputs information into the validation system. Confidentiality of our data is becoming an enormous concern. There have been some tremendous data breaches over the last few years. And so people are now concerned about keeping our data confidential. There may be us doing packet captures. We may want to find out if somebody's accessing that data. Our password files become very important to us to make sure that that data is confidential. And people will use social engineering and things like shoulder surfing to be able to look over our shoulders when we're out in public to get our passwords, find out more about what might be on our screen. There's also the worry of data encryption. We need to make sure that if we're going to store this data, that it needs to be encrypted when 
when we're storing it. And if we're transmitting the data, that we're able to transmit it without people getting access to that data. Some people have gone to extremes so that they can be out in public and nobody can see their screen, nobody can data surf, nobody can see what passwords they're looking into. But unfortunately, we don't all have this luxury. And when we're talking about dealing with confidentiality, talking about availability, talking about integrity, we have to make sure that all of these things work together so that we're able to keep our systems very, very secure.